You're watching Big 12 now on ESPN. A beautiful Sunday morning in Houston for the finale of this Big 12 series. Oklahoma State seeking another sweep against the Houston Cougars from Cougars Softball Stadium. Start today and Shelby's got the ball in the circle. And a four pitch walk from Shelby Smith. She threw Friday, did not pitch yesterday. Five yesterday. Check swing, did she go? She did. She went right back to that same up and away. That's into center field. Thomas broke back, now she comes in. Wong kept in the yard here in her first at bat. She's had a prolific weekend. 17 balls that were elevated into the air and that tells you something about her movement. Out to right center, Kennedy Thomas has a beat on it, makes the catch. And Shelby Smith, a fine first inning. Yeah, she was able to avoid and kind of some of the traffic with expecting to see, you know, maybe anywhere from six or more. And that's blasted to right and a bat flip there for Jasmine Rollin. No doubt about it. And Houston has its first lead of the weekend. No doubt about it from Jasmine Rollin. There have been nine home runs this weekend. This was the biggest blast that left this park so far. Matt, I think it hit Elgin Street, maybe got caught up in some of those oak trees out over the right center field wall. It allows the Cougars to celebrate early in this game. But the bat flip was tremendous. She's really feeling herself there and goes and gets and touches them all. That's the biggest bat flip I've seen this season from a Houston player. I agree. I mean, you know, kill is tough to hit. Trying to salvage a win here today. Bounce to the right side. Rosie Davis, sidearm to first. Coleman retired after a nice at bat. Yeah. To Kennedy Thomas. Bounce to third. Pular backed up on it. It goes between the legs. And Thomas rewarded. She's on. Here she is going. And she steals second. She chose a good pitch to steal upon. Houston's first stolen base of the weekend. That and Kennedy Thomas gets a steal. Boutte down on strikes, a nasty pitch on 2-2 there from Lexi Kilfoyle. It's interesting because Lexi... RBI chance here for Shelby Smith with Kennedy Thomas out at second. That's out to right field. In the ballpark for Lexi McDonald who makes the catch. And the side is retired. But oh, she is. It does take a little bit of a adjustment Line drive to right, Holsey broke in. She recovers well to make the catch at the foot of the warning track. And this is a similar looking. Homers in 33 at bats. Here's Rosie Davis. She hit one of the home runs on Friday. She grounds the first pitch to third. Jasmine Rollin across to Cantu and there's two outs for Smith here in the second. This is one of the few ground balls that we've seen. Out to center field, Kennedy Thomas. Looking into the sun makes the catch too scoreless here for Shelby Smith. Yeah, and Shelby's really getting a lot of the uh, cowgirl hitters to elevate the ball and make these easy outs. Put your bat to the ball. Swings and misses. Can't two down on strikes. Now 0 for 6 this weekend. Yeah, and she went down, down. I mean, we know. That's into center field. Warsaw tracks it well and makes the catch. Good contact from Aguilar on a two-strike pitch. And it's Kilfoyle on Friday. She had a hit yesterday, and she bounces this to short. Charging Bloodworth, strong throw again from the outstanding short. Houston to play. Here's Megan Bloodworth. Bunts it first base side, Cantu picks it up, throws to Aguilar, nice defense from Houston against the bunt of Megan Bloodworth. Good bunt. Rollin has it, throws to first, and it's a bunt hit for Tia Warsaw. Great barrel head control here. Back to Smith, she goes to second for one, no relay throw, good slide from Warsaw to make it difficult for Aguilar, the, or the, or Poulard, good speed at first. And it's hit into left field. Lorenzo is shaded towards second. There's a bobble from Boutte. Her throw is high. Now down to second. An extra base for both base runners after the bobble from Boutte. Now second and third with two down. 
18 homers and nine doubles this season. Out to right field, long run for Paige Holsey. She cannot make the catch and she crashes into the wall. Both base runners score. It's a two run double to Caroline Wong. The previous pitch that was thrown to Wong was in a similar location. It was up and away. And I think Wong just looked that way and hit it that way. Paige Holsey, hopefully they check on her and make sure she's okay. She was going all out there in the outfield. And that's Aguilar, the second baseman, actually getting the ball back into the infield. RBI is 33 and 34 this. Here's Michaela Wark. Wark underneath it into shallow left. Here comes Lair Boutte to make the catch. And the inning is over, but. Nine sibling, which is a schnauzer earlier this week. Poulard has it at third strong throw to get Paige Holsey. Nice play from Jillian Poulard. Yeah, actually, and that's a great play for Poulard. They did the ball a little bit out and away. Squib to shortstop, Bloodworth has it. Good contact from Rollin, but right at the Oklahoma State shortstop. Yeah, another really good at bat by Rollin here. I mean, Coleman had a very long at bat her first time. Ended up grounded out to second here. She lays a good bunt back to the circle. Kilfoyle back heeled throw, not in time. Perfect bunt from Colvin. Kilfoyle made it close. As being an additional infielder in the field, and you don't always have that at this level. Thomas lines it to third, and it's caught there by Jillian Poulard to end the inning. In the opposite direction, too, that pitch that was out over the plate. She really drove to left field. Line drive up the middle of base hit. McDonald continues her strong weekend with an. And she smokes that high in the air and gone. High off her face on the video board for Rosie Davis, her second home run this weekend. And she's really feeling herself at the plate, really, really ready to celebrate with her teammates. And there was maybe a, a fake button hit, but when she pulled back here, maybe she was trying to hit herself off of the video board, but it did hit her photo up on the video board. And then she's gonna go ahead and touch them all and celebrate with her teammates. A lot of power in that small frame. Six homers on the season to go with eight doubles whenever these athletes get to college, and it can change their ability to drive the ball. Paul third strike, Katie Lott is down on strikes for this year and all this young offense for Oklahoma State. It is a fair ball just over the bag at third. Bloodworth is held at first. Coach Gajewski was not taking any risk. He put Back towards the circle, backhanded by Smith. She goes to sec first for the sure outs. Bloodworth moves to second on the ground out from Tia Warsaw. And this slap back to the pitcher works his all time. For me, it's Beanie Ketchum, Leanne Ketchum. I played pro ball with her with the Colorado Silver Bullets. Not only a great athlete, but a great person. Great play there from Shelby Smith, hit hard by Jillian Poulard. Bats exploding in some ways. Here's Lair Boutte, first pitch, bounces it to short, high hop for Bloodworth, quick release to first, nice play from Bloodworth. Ooh -wee. That's a fun one. Has a little bit of velocity about how she just gets ahead, gets ahead in every count. And today it's been a little different. And there's a walk. Good at bat from Shelby Smith, the first walk issued today by Lexi. The field. Bounce towards third, Poulard to second, not in time. The speed of Wilkins was too much. The throw gets into shallow right. First and third, nobody out. And how about that break? Line drive to third, Poulard snares it. Wilkins gets back to the bag immediately. Another Adam ball from a Houston hitter with runners on. Yeah, she smoked this pitch and Poulard was, was Good off-speed pitch, Lorenzo's down on strikes. Another jam escaped by Lexi Gilfoyle. Yeah, and that was her first made the tag at the plate right on the shoe of the Oklahoma Sooner runner that ended the game. Chopped up the middle into center field, a base hit for Carly Godwin. The biggest hits of today's game, a two-run double off the wall and right. She goes back to right. Here comes Holsey, it's gone! 
Another home run from Caroline Wong, her third of the weekend. Just a tremendous series for the Oklahoma State catcher. Matt, I kind of wonder, does she even hit the ball in the infield at all? I mean, every time she makes contact, it feels like there's an opportunity for the ball to get out of the ballpark. And Coach Gajewski has called her a gamer. You know, when she came over here in the transfer portal, he wasn't exactly sure what he was going to be getting when he saw her in the fall. But she has really, really came on. She's been locked in. And it's the 10th homer of the weekend for Oklahoma State. As that's popped up by Michaela Wark. Jasmine Rowland takes charge and foul ground to make the catch. Out to left center, here comes Boutte with a diving catch. And this is one of the first times that we've seen the Cooper. Three balls, two strikes. Davis draws a walk. A very good team, they beat UCLA in the LA Regional, that's Popped into shallow left, out goes Lorenzo. Boutte takes charge for the third out. Yeah, and Lair Boutte was almost like pitching today. Hit to the right side. Godwin has it, she steps on first. Prudhomme retired, she's in Nebraska and at this level, the toughest pitchers that I pit. Out to left, high and deep and gone. Her second homer today, the first to right center, this to left center, two long balls for Jasmine Rollin. And remember too, in between these two home runs, she smoked that ball to Bloodworth, line drive at shortstop as well, but she's really seeing the ball well. Jasmine Rollin, great swing, no bat flip this time. Well, she wasn't certain if it was gonna leave, I think, Matt. She got enough of it to travel out 200 feet to score another run for the Cougars. She has found her power, Shea, in Big 12 play. She now has nine homers this season. Got Kansas, there was Stephanie Williams that threw this tremendous up ball. It's a third. Brianna has it across to first. Coleman retired, two down in the fifth. Caught at third by Jillian Poulard. This is hit softly to first. Godwin has it, she steps on first. Ivy Rosenberry, at door. They were five and 13 a season ago. Line to short, Lorenzo has it. A good at bat from Sophie Page, ends in a line out. Yeah, she made some good contact here. When she kind of got. Slap to short, Lorenzo. Not in time, infield hit for Tia Warsaw. And this is to all of those softball players that. That's bounced to the right side. Aguilar knocks it down. She tries an all glove flip, not in time. The glove nearly made it to first as Poulard is aboard. And that weekend. That's smashed down the left field line. It's a fair ball. It's gonna roll to the wall. It's an RBI double from Godwin. In the air to left field. Back goes Lair Boutte. She's done it again. Her second home run today. Her fourth on the seat on the weekend. 15 on the year. And she's now all alone in second place. Single season homers for a catcher in Oklahoma State history. Travel out of the ballpark. And the amount of strength that she has and just She's a complete hitting stud. This ball just travels out to the berm. There was a chance, I think, Lair felt like that she might have been able to make a play on it. But it gets out of the ballpark again this weekend for Caroline. Seven RBIs today for... A blue base hit into right in front of the dive of Paige Holsey. with this changeup that she possesses, see if able to make some adjustments. McDonald draws the walk. 
She did throw her the change, but it stayed a little bit low and in. Two balls, two strikes, two on, with one out here in the sixth. And a strikeout of Davis for Tamayo Waiters. Yeah, and, she and the dirt blocked by Coleman, it gets away. Both base runners advance. Schneidmiller goes up to third. Sokolowski moves to second base. Tim draws a four pitch walk. Four walks drawn by Oklahoma State batters today. Strikes. Waiters trying to get her team off the field. Page pops it back to shortstop. Lorenzo makes the catch. And the inning is over, but Oklahoma State had one hit this weekend with runners on base. Very Bute good, is caught looking. Very good pitch there. Took a little bit off of it. Left it low in the zone, right at the knee. Smith to the right side. Harley Godwin steps on first. And there's two down. That's Rosenberry. And a swing and a miss, Rosenberry with the strikeout to complete the run rule victory for Oklahoma State. And quite the weekend. Caroline Wong, seven for nine, four homers, two doubles. Ten. Of typo, whenever you look at some of these numbers that the Cowgirls put up this weekend in Houston, but this is a team that we will see playing in Oklahoma City. We will see them again at the Women's College World Series. And we hope they have safe travels back to Stillwater tonight.